Hi, I'm Paul Tursley, and this is a demo of my PT import subtitle script. You can use this script to import subtitles into After Effects that use the same text script format that Adobe Encore uses. I'll, um, I'll just show you. Here's Encore, and you can go import text script, and um, I've got some examples here. You get options for how you want the text laid out and uh, there you have it the subtitles imported into Encore but um, sometimes you may want to embed these subtitles into your video uh, maybe you're delivering it on the web or on tape so you can use this script to import the subtitles into After Effects and from there get them into your editing package of choice so the first thing to do is create a composition with the correct format and frame rate. And and before we import the subtitles, it's worth making sure your text settings are correct. So just create some sample text. You want to make sure the size is okay and uh, choose your font, etc., etc. Actually, I can see this is uh, left aligned, this text. The anchor point's over on the left-hand side. But I want the subtitles to be centered, so I'll change that. And then when you're happy with the settings, we can delete that layer because the import subtitles will use the whatever the settings are in the character and paragraph panel. So let's go ahead and import the uh, subtitles. I've already installed the script into the script UI panels folder so it shows up in the windows menu and uh, it's got a dockable UI so you can drag it into the interface wherever you want it there aren't too many controls there's um, there's a help window which gives you some instructions and there's some links to the page on ascripts.com so let's import the subtitles you can see here we have keyframes for the source text and uh, and for the anchor point because script automatically changes the anchor point to ensure the text is centered whether it's on one two or three lines now I can actually see that the text is a bit big here so the, the easiest way to change that is to find a the say the longest line in the subtitles and then change change the settings until you're happy with it and then just delete the subtitle and um, re-import it again and uh, it'll all come in with those new settings so once you have the subtitles in After Effects you can then um, render it out with an alpha channel or you could bring the video into After Effects, put it underneath in the timeline and render the video with embedded subtitles out of After Effects. Or if you um, if you have a Premiere Pro, you can um, use the dynamic link to drop it directly into your Premiere Pro timeline. So to do that, you'd need to save the project first. I've got, I've got Premiere open here with an empty timeline. You can just drop the comp into Premiere drag it onto the timeline and there you've got the subtitles in Premiere Pro. One last thing I want to show you is it's not unusual for these text script files to have errors in them where um, you have un overlapping time codes on the subtitles. Say for example the time code for the next subtitle start time is earlier than the end time code for the previous subtitle so this script will actually flag up those errors I have a um, I have a test file here with a couple of errors in it and when I import it you get this um, alert saying errors have been found and it will save a error log to a text file which it saves it in the same place as as the file you imported and uh, it tells you so it's saying here there's an error on line 13 the line has a start time earlier 
than an existing time that was set from a previous subtitle. So you can use that information to go back and correct the settings in your um, subtitle file before you re-import it again. So um, that's it. I, um, I hope you find it useful.